since morning gold traded in the range as i shared earlier in the day today only long entry was 1852 and till the time it is below 1852 the target was 1840 42 zone it precisely achieved it and is still trading in zone similarly us 30 and us 100 i asked to remain bullish on it it has achieved 3200 and 11288 levels now what is going to happen with the us cash session we will try to see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to watch till the end first we'll look into nasdaq 100 for first we'll look into gold rather followed with nasdaq 100 and in the end we'll see dow jones so do listen to it carefully and do note down the levels now let's start the day with gold first first of all this is the hourly chart so gold clearly you can see these three candles getting rejected 1842 levels giving it a very strong support and now 1845 giving it a stronger support so i'll be watchful of this zone between 1842 and 1845 a only short entry now i will recommend is below 1842 levels where you can expect uh, it to drop more because this is a large gap here on the early charts it can try to fill that gap and it is going to be a sharper drop now if you look at the early charts closely right now it is trying to trade with this higher lows lower highs trying to give a breakout let's see if it breaks out beyond any move beyond 1852 go long any drop below 1842 go short so in between these 10 dollars be cautious direct oscillator there is in buy side directional movement is bullish the macd is uh, on sell side here trying to converge and cross over for a bullish move the rsi is looking upwards similarly the stochastic is looking downwards here indicating that is still there is little bearishness here now look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts you will find what i see is that it is trying to create a double top possibly it may try to go back till towards 1858 1860 and if it breaks past this zone at 1858 1860 we can expect it to rise more then one can expect that it may try to rise for 1865 17 1880 levels but i'll be watchful of this zone so yes beyond 1852 you can go long for 1855 and 1858 60 zone this is going to be a stronger resistance because achieving the highs it can again try to retrace back a bit on the downside what it is trying to do on the two hour charts see rise retracement higher highs retracement may try to achieve higher highs and what is the highs for this channel it is at around 1870 level so yes you can go long at 1840 52 levels and at the same time the support here at 1840 two levels is going to be strong and be watchful of that yes you can go short below 1842 levels that is clear the awesome oscillator is still in buy zone directional movement is bullish the macd is trying to converge and cross over the rsi looking upwards the stochastic is also looking bullish here similarly if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts if you look closely see one thing here is it is seen the bottom here and if you look at this double bottom has been done rise retracement and possibly it can try to form a double top and then we will see how it behaves if it goes past this yes you can expect a further rise till towards 1870 so in sum you can remain long above 1850 levels 1852 levels and you can expect it rise also you can see here it is getting the support right now from 1845 levels but i will recommend you to go short at below 1842 only so be watchful of 1842 and 1852 levels in between that do not trade oscillator is bullish here the directional movement is bullish here the macd is trying to converge and the rsi trading flat similarly stochastic is looking downwards and if you look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts see this is the 50 period moving average giving it a very strong support be watchful of this if it breaks below this 1842 we can see it dropping till towards 1830 levels so be watchful of that also it is trying to give you lower highs on the 4 hour charts so yes only long entry i will recommend if it breaks past 1852 levels and if it sustains beyond 1852 you can go long then you one can expect 1858 as the target and 1860 as the target sustaining below it beyond 1866 it can rise more and it is going to hit 1870 levels the awesome oscillator is in buy side here the directional movement is crossing over for a bullish move the macd is in buy side and it is trying to converge rsi looking up first stochastic is looking downwards coming back to the daily candles here now look at the daily chart and if you look at the daily chart you will find that it has seen the lows here now with this is low it is trying to rise and how high it can go it is trying to trade in this channel 
first resistance it will will get is from 1860 levels and if it breaks past this we can see a rise there so yes you can go long above 1852 levels in fact i will say 1853 go long that there at 1853 expect 1858 to give it a support and then beyond that we can expect it to rise more till towards 1870 levels be watchful of that on the downside the support here at 1840 is very very strong so now let me change my entries a bit yes you can go short at 1840 and go long at 1853 levels beyond uh, and above levels you can definitely stay long or stay short accordingly the oscillator they are coming to sell zone here that is the only thing it is trading in red and this is giving me a little cautious mode that possibly because it is giving it a red signal indicating that this still there is bearishness also the directional movement is bearish here and if you look at the MACD is trying to cross over. Similarly, RSI is flat and stochastic looking upwards. Considering this, only long entry I will recommend is at 1853. There you can go long for 1858, 1862, and 1870 levels. It can hit 1870 levels possibly and achieve the highs close there at a, a high for the week. And yes, on the downside. If you see it trading below 1840, you can go short. Then 1836, 1830, and downside 1820 levels will get achieved. Take your positions accordingly. Trade with caution. Trade with stop loss, and please keep a trailing stop loss. Do not miss too close your trade in green. If your position is in green with just two dollars of movement, put your stop loss to cost and safeguard your position. You can re-enter ten times if you have the capital. Now let's have a look at Nasdaq 100. See Nasdaq 100 on the hourly charts. It is trading in this channel. the lows of the channel here if you see 11 11200 is the low for this channel rather i will say 11180 so if it breaks below 11180 you can expect a further drop at the same time breaking below beyond 11300 one can expect a sharper rise and this time it is going to hit 11350 370 and 11400 levels look at the oscillator it is trading in negative zone trying to come back into the bullish zone the directional movement has crossed over the macd is wide divergent and it's still green indicating bullishness there rsi trading flat and if you look at the stochastic this is also trading flat near to the top of the uh, channel there top of the zone there now if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts higher lows higher highs resistance there at 11300 and then 11350 360 and then 11400 is going to be stronger it is possibly looking forward to a breakout any breakdown below 11180 go short there and below 1180 rather as i shared earlier in the day i will expect 11150 as the first support and then 11100 will come into picture else it is waiting for a breakout i will expect it to go back till towards 11400 that is my expectation but market i do not run markets mark mark this words the oscillator is trading in green but it is trading in the negative side be watchful of this it can cross over for a bullish move and if you look at the directional movement is bearish the macd has just crossed over on the two hour chart this is just second green candle possibly we can see few more green candles here rsi trading flat and stochastic looking upwards here similarly if you look at the three hour charts now look at the three hour charts it is trying to give a wave here and now see this first thing is it is giving you higher highs next is it is giving you lower lows the lows there one can see 11200 levels should provide a support rather i will not recommend anything to go short till it is above 11150 levels rather 11140 levels i will not recommend you to go short till it is above 11140 because here is a reversal and we can expect it to continue on the upside the target should be at 11350 and 11400 levels it may try to achieve today itself the oscillator they are trading in negative zone but however trading the or giving the greener part of this cycle there probably it may try to rise a little more and if you look at the directional movement is bearish the stochastic is crossed over the macd has crossed over this is the second green candle and it may continue to trade in green rsi trading flat here and if you look at the stochastic this is overbought on the 3 hr charts be watchful of this now if you look at the 4 hr charts on the 4 hr charts to see we have seen now look at the 4 hour chart there is a support here at 11150 levels and that is what i told you that only short entry i will recommend is below this level also it is trying to trade in this zone the high is at around 11320 levels and beyond 11320 i will expect 11350 400 and in fact beyond that also it can rise very strongly on the upside so be watchful of that 
and yes on the downside the support there at 11 180 and 11 uh, 150 is going to be strong only short entry i'll recommend is below 11 150 levels below that it can try to drop strongly on the downside look at the oscillator it is trying to trade in green and it is trading in the negative side of it if you look at the directional movement is bearish the MACD is a divergent and it is still bullish it is still recommending a buy here and if you look at the RSI near to bottom trading flat and stochastic is looking upwards similarly if you look at the daily charts on the daily charts it is trying to show you a little reversal now look at this on the downside 11,000 and 11,050 levels are definitely a very strong support I will recommend you to go short only once you see it trading below 11,150 below that we can expect 11,100, 11,050, 11,000 and 10,950 till, till 10,950 it has every right to reverse again on the upside at the same time till the time it trades above 11,150 my expectation is to achieve the lower highs and in fact it can hit 11,600 levels also if it breaks past 11,400 then and then only right now it appears the first target is at around 11,360-350 zone then 11,400 and then we may see a stronger rise till towards 11,550-600 zone oscillator there has seen the lows there it is trying to give you a greener candle from here be watchful of that the directional movement is bearish the MACD is bearish here and it is wide and divergent it may start to converge from here be watchful RSI is near to bottom there Similarly, if you look at the stochastic, this is trying to come out with this rise today. So possibly we may see a greener candle and an opportunity to buy is at around 11.050, 11.100. Any point of time, I think we can still expect it to buy. And if you see it dropping till towards 10.950, you can still buy it from those levels expecting it to rise. First target should be at around 11.350 levels and then it may try 11.320, 11.350 and 11.400. These three levels I will be watchful of. Beyond 11.400, we can expect it to rise more till towards 11.510, 11.550, 11 11.600 levels. So take your positions accordingly. And on the downside, yes, 10.950 should provide a very strong support. If it breaks and sustains below the 10.950, there could be a stronger fall in NASDAQ 100, taking it to 10.800 levels. So take your positions accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss and trade profitably. Now let's have a look at Dow Jones. Look at the hourly charts on US 30, higher lows, lower highs, it is trying to trade in this, any breakout below 3100 levels now will be a good level to go short and then you can expect 30.050 which is a very strong support, below that we can expect a sharper drop, at the same time on the upside I will be watchful of 3200, so in between 3200 and 3100 we have to be a little bit cautious and on the downside 30.050 should definitely provide a stronger support, so be watchful of 3100-200 zone, in between this zone it may try to consolidate before it tries to look forward to any breakout on the upside or downside the oscillator is coming to bullish side the directional movement is bearish trying to cross over for a bullish move the MACD is trading green and it is divergent RSI trading flat and stochastic looking downwards and if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts too we have to see see till now it has shown the support at 30,000 levels with that as support it is trying to rise but if you look at these three candles see here it is trying to trade with this as pivot at around 3100 now the support resistance at 3200 levels is going to be strong beyond that we can expect 3300 350 and beyond that we may see a good sharp breakout till towards 3400 3500 levels i'll be looking forward to those levels today itself the oscillator they are trading in negative zone however it is trading green the directional movement is bearish the stock MACD has crossed over and it is trading in green it is divergent indicating more bullishness RSI is trading flat with a little slope and stochastic is near to top there similarly if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts see two red candles two red candles and this time it must give a green candle so after see the beauty of two such candles is as per my understanding is the next candle is the opposite of it that is my expectation the target is 3350 400 zone it may try to achieve this time it is going to be a sharper green candle and the support there at 3100 is strong i will be looking forward to this zone between 3100 and 200 do not trade beyond 3200 you can still expect a rise there now if you look at the oscillator it is trading in a negative side trying to trade in green the directional movement is bearish here the MACD has just crossed over it is bullish here the RSI is looking upwards bullish here and if you look at the stochastic this is overbought here on the 2 hour, 3 hour charts now coming back to 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts you can see 
the two candles here the body size is increasing the highs it is trying to achieve now the resistance here at 3200 300 zone is going to be stronger so be watchful of 3280 300 zone and then 3400 definitely will get achieved at the same time on the downside be watchful of 3050 levels any breakout below 3050 and 3350 uh, so 3300 is going to be, we have to be watchful of this in between these 300 points let's be cautious so the larger trading zone is this level but yes on the upside and downside you can go short at 3100 but remember 3050 is again a stronger support and then 30,000 these two support levels it can again bounce back so till then you have to trade with a trailing stop loss at the same time if you see it reversing on the upside about 3200 you can go long for 3300 3400 levels the oscillator trading in green in the downside and if you look at the directional movement is bearish the MACD has crossed over for a bullish move RSI looking upwards and stochastic is looking upwards on the 4 hour charts similarly if you look at the daily charts on the daily charts it is trying to reverse see previous two candles lower lows lower highs and lower lows and this is a kind of an expanding triangle and possibly from here it may try to reverse back a bit the on the upside yes there is a support at 29700 levels today and probably on the upside it can try to hit back if it continues to rise there could be a sharper rise which may take it till towards 3700 levels also be watchful of that one can go long above 3200 then expect 3300 400 500 600 700 levels plus minus 10 20 points i am not counting yes it may try to keep it as buffer take your positions accordingly on the downside below 3100 you can go short but there is a support at 30,050, 30,000 levels this is going to be a very strong support below 30,000 we can expect it to drop more till towards see below 30,000 we have to remain bearish uh, for a little long and you can expect a sharper drop till towards 29,800, 29,700 levels take your positions accordingly take trade accordingly trade with safety trade with caution trade with a strict stop loss and trade with a trailing stop loss reach out to me for more details on trading or training or if you want to become the same expertise if you want to become an expert of the market you can join my mentorship badge or you can join my vip signals group reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id the mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you